Hey guys, how's it going? I made a video the other day about, uh, you know, curse words and how Brian Denlinger and others might teach that uh, Peter, when when the Bible says that he cursed and swore, that, you know, he was saying curse words, saying profanities, vulgar language, like cursing like a sailor, basically, and uh, I think I've done a video on this before, but I wanted to do it again and add uh, some commentary to the website. So I looked up on Study Light to read what people had to say about it again. And so here's some of what I've got from here. And uh, there's basically two instances. You know, there's the parallel passage. Uh, read about it first in Matthew 26, 74. And this is when Peter was denying the Lord three times. And, and it says, Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And then in Mark... 1471, but he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. And so, uh, and I haven't, I didn't even interest, I didn't mention this in the uh, commentary, but it is interesting too how he says, it says, saying, I know not the man. And, and so that's kind of like the context of what he said a little bit. Uh, but anyways, what we need to explain is what cursing and swearing really means here in this context. And so from one commentator it says, So he, Peter, began to deny Jesus vehement, vehemently, reinforcing his words with oaths and curses. His denial had reached its ultimate depth. And so basically when we see the word swear, we're thinking of an oath. You know, like, I swear upon my heart or whatever. Uh, so we'll talk about that more. Peter is said to deny with an oath. Here he positively affirms and swears, probably by the name of God. Okay, swearing. He doesn't know Jesus. Okay. Uh, there are no grounds here for suggesting that it was Jesus whom he cursed. He had done it... Uh, had he done that, it would have surely been brought out as being more than a denial. So we're talking about what does it mean when when it says, uh, you know, that he began to curse. Uh, well, he rather cursed either himself, adding imprecation, invoking curses on himself if the case be not as he says. Okay, bringing down curses on himself if he was to be found a liar to try to prove that what he was saying was true to these people. Uh, or some of those who were in view glaring at him. So you could say either way that, you know, maybe he was bringing cursing on, on those who were uh, calling him out, saying that they were wrong. Uh, but also, more so, you know, that he was bringing cursing on himself. And so here's an example of what he could have been saying. May God punish me if I am not telling the truth. I do not know that man. So he's swearing by God, and he's bringing punishment on himself if he's not telling the truth. This is all to, uh, to try to affirm that what he's saying is true. Okay. And so um, we also read in 1 Kings, in a couple places, chapter 19, verse 2, and 20, verse 10, and I think maybe it's the pagans saying this or something. Uh, they're saying, you know, it gives the example here, God do so to me and more also, if what they're saying is not true. And I think in First Kings, I think it's like the pagans saying, may the gods do so to me. But basically the idea is the same, as well as by the oath formula by heaven or by the temple or by God, if, you know, he could have swore by God himself. Uh... So may God punish me if I am not telling the truth. I do not know that man. That's what it means by Peter saying that he cursed and swore. Not that he was cursing like a swaler, or sailor saying, you know, certain bad words. You know, bleep, bleepity, bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> That's what Brian Denlinger is trying to get you to imagine when, when you're, you know, interpreting this. And those are two completely different ideas. Uh... And so the more accurate view here is that he's swearing by God that he doesn't know Jesus and uh, may God punish him, you know, if he's lying. 
to try to to try to affirm what he's saying. So hopefully you get that. And uh, <clears throat> so I just find it bizarre that Brian Denlinger even takes that view. Uh, but I guess I can kind of see how people believe that. But anyways, there's that. God bless.